Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Eye Makeup Tutorial. Um, for today's video, this is gonna be exciting again. Every episodes in my channel are exciting. So, before the fall season will end, I decided to sit down and create this beautiful fall slash autumn eye makeup look. So this is gonna be exciting. I actually um, did this on the spot. I did not even know what color I'm gonna I'm gonna use for this makeup look. And also, this is not going to be a full face tutorial since we're just um, focusing on, on the eyes and the video is not going to be that long. I will always, always, always put everything I use on my face in the description box so you won't miss a thing. Alright, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Alright guys, so um, for the eyes, we're going to... Uh, use uh, my ColourPop Sweet Talk Press Powder Palette. This is how it looks like. There you go. So we're gonna start with uh, this. Like, it's not peach, but it's like light yellow. This one right here. I don't know if you can see it that one that one right there it's like a light yellow we're gonna apply that all over the lids and let's go ahead and use a flat brush like this okay okay I I changed my mind so we're just gonna apply that on the inner until the quarter of the lids so just until here by the way guys i prep my eyes as usual with my favorite mac paint pot and this is in soft ochre i put that all over my lid and i set it with my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder and this is in the shade medium don't you worry guys as usual, I'll be putting everything I used on my face in the description box so you won't miss anything. I think that's good. Alright, and now we're going to add this color right here. By the way, the name of the first color is Work It, that yellow, light yellow color. And then the next one, we're going to use the west side and this is a dark brown. We're going to add that on the outer outer part of our lids and I decided to do a halo so we're going to add that on the outer part of the lid and the inner part. So let's do that. Again, I have another clean flat brush just like the, the one that we used earlier. So yeah, make sure you tap the excess guys. So we're going to do this, tap it. On the outer V. Let's extend it a little bit like that. And then drag it inside. Guys, again, it's better to put little by little. You can build it up as you go on. That's much easier. It's easier to add. Just like when you're cooking, you know, guys. Tap, tapping motion, so the color is intense then get a fluffy blending brush like this and just circular motion on the edges so there are no harsh edges we're gonna blend it out again later now let me add um, on the inner part now this time we're gonna use a small flat brush so we can you know it's not going to be hard to go in there that's what we have so far and if you're not satisfied with the intensity just build and build add 
add more colors, add more pigments. So I'm not satisfied with this yet, so we're gonna add more. And now I'm gonna use the the fluffy brush that we used earlier, but this time I want to dip it. Uh, no, let me use uh, like a pointy fluffy brush like this. So this is new, and I'm gonna dip it in the color. I don't know how to read this. I see me. I see me. This one. So this is gonna be our transition shade. That one. It's like a rosy, rosy peachy color. So that's gonna be our transition shade. Blend that on the edges. All right, after uh, a lot of blending, this is what we have. And now, we're gonna use this NYX Foil Play Cream Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Steal Your Man. I like the color. It's like um, goldish, yellowish. Let's see, and I'm gonna apply this with my finger. So let's try that first before using a brush. I think it's gonna be intense if we use our fingers. So we're gonna apply that on the middle part of the lids yes I thought so I knew it I'm gonna like this one I like glitters guys yeah why not love it what do you guys think And that's enough and don't forget to blend it to blend the edges on top like so and of course blend it in this part so they will meet and there is no harsh edges other side too all right and next let's move on to the lower lashes or lower lash line so let's use a flat brush like this and then let's dip into the color feel free it's like a dark maroonish color that one just gonna stamp that on the lower lash line Leave it like that, just until here, like a quarter. Quarter on, we'll leave a quarter space on our lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna use the color or the foil cream and then put that on, on the, the rest of the space that doesn't have product. So let's do that. And I got a, a clean pencil brush. Let's see if that's gonna pop up with the brush. Yeah, that works. Okay, there's that and get another clean um, pencil brush. And then we're gonna blend that with the color uh, icing. So that's gonna be the transition shade as well on the bottom okay I am not satisfied on the definition on the upper upper lid so what I'm gonna do is add that uh, feel free uh, color just a little bit on the outer V so it will have a definition and also I might add on the inner part of the lid so let's do that and blend it out all right there you go and now i'm gonna try to add 
second part, a yellow eyeliner on the lower lash line. It's different. It's fun. I like it. All right, now um, let me um, finish the other eye, add some falsies, curl my lashes, and I will be right back, guys. And I'm back, guys. So um, I added some eyeliner on on my upper lash line, so we have a base to put the the those big lashes. I want it to be glam. And also, I added um, mascara on the lower lashes. And I think that's it. Yes. And now, what we're going to do, we're just going to add something on the inner tear duct so the eyes will pop more. So just add a teeny tiny brush like this, guys. I don't know if you can see it that and uh, let me grab um, a different palette for the inner tear duct so I'm gonna grab my Tati Beauty again been using this for my tutorials for how many times now one of my fave we're just gonna go to the aura metallic this one that one just gonna put that on the inner tear duct to brighten up our eyes just like that yes I know our eyes is bold but there's no rules when it comes to makeup wear bold lipstick bold eyes it's okay as long as you're comfortable with it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'll wear a bold lips too with this look let me apply this off camera and I'll be right back. 